This is an early model lightning adding machine, probably from the 1950s. It has a dark green metal case on the front with a pool table green felt back. It adds numbers, it can handle up to seven digits. Obviously this machine is all about portability. It's about the size of a ruler and weighs less than a pound. In the 1950s this machine cost $12.95, which would be about $130 today. The machine originally came with its own stylus, which is just a little metal pencil shaped thing. It also had a stand made of Bakelite. These machines are pretty easy to find these days, but finding one with the original Bakelite stand and original stylus is quite a bit harder. A ballpoint pen just works fine though. And you don't need the stand, you can just hold it in your hand. I found it really hard to find any information about the Lightning Adding Machine Company today. Um, I did find some interesting stuff on a Japanese blog. Here's what they said. Undercooked and raw meat, fish, and shellfish may carry AAS degree salary intestinal pathogens. Serology. Rare exposure, always episodic. Lightning Adding Machine Company, U.S. Malta, has the world's eighth largest flex custom metadata tags registry, which makes it. This machine is really easy to use. You dial in a number by sticking your stylus in one of the holes and you dial it all the way to the right, that's uh, clockwise. You add two numbers by just dialing the first number and then dialing in the second number. So if I wanna do four plus eight, you just dial the four and then the eight. And the digits of the answer appear in the little windows at the top of the machine. You can keep on adding as many numbers as you want, and you can dial in the digits in any order from right to left or left to right. Let's try 465 plus 730. I do the 4, the 6, and the 5. And then I go 7, the 3, and the 0. You don't have to dial anything for 0. The later models of the Lightning had a clear lever. You just kind of pull this little bar and all the numbers reset to zero. On this one, you have to clear it out manually. They put these little arrows in there to help you out. So to clear it out, you just turn all the dials back so that the red arrow is at the nine. The idea behind the mechanism is pretty simple. Turning the dials changes the total value and every time you turn the dial all the way around, it increases the total in the next digit by one. Uh, it's like a clock, you know, every time the uh, long hand goes all the way around, the short hand goes up by one position. So it's not a surprise that the Lightning Adding Machine Company wasn't the first or the only ones to make this kind of machine. Actually, the original design goes all the way back to the French mathematician and theologian Blaise Pascal. Pascal made this machine in 1649 for his father, who was an accountant. This basic design and this old machine is now called the Pascaline. Pascal is probably best known today for his work on what he called the Triangle Arithmetique. We call it Pascal's Triangle. You probably learned about it in high school. Actually, what we call Pascal's Triangle was studied in Asia and the Middle East uh, starting over a thousand years before Pascal. But, you know... Uh, in the West, ideas from classical mathematics are generally named after the first white person to take them seriously. Anyway, Pascal really was the first person to build a machine like the Pascaline. He made about 20 of them during his lifetime, and nine of the original Pascalines are still known today. Most of them are in French museums. The lightning machine as a device is really fun to use. The dials click as they turn, and you can feel and hear the gears turning inside. There's some sort of spring action to the position of the dials so that it clicks from one position to the next and it'll never stop in between two numbers. Once you hold this thing in your hand and you feel the dials turning, you feel like you have some instinctive understanding of how the internal mechanism is working. This gives it a different feel from the big crank adding machines, which is basically just a big black box. The later lightning machines could do subtraction uh, pretty easily. With this machine you can try to subtract by turning the dials backwards but you'll notice that it doesn't uncarry. So just stick to adding and you'll be all good. Actually I appreciate that this thing just adds. It's not trying to be anything else. It doesn't also multiply or divide or do fractions. It's not a ruler. It's not also a pencil case. It doesn't do logarithms. It doesn't send texts. 
or do Instagrams or Facebooks or Snapchats or whatever. It's a one-trick pony that isn't trying to be anything else. Sometimes that's just what we need.